sad. But I just realized how bummed I get without video games. It didn't bother me. It really didn't bother me that much the entire time that I've been in Florida because I've been busy. But in the back of my head, I always remember that I've sold every system I had along with all the games before I left for boot camp because I had was having financial issues and I wanted to make sure that my bills and everything were taken care of before I left. And that hurt a lot to do that, but it was the only thing I could think of to do. I do have some games, like I didn't sell any of the memory cards, you know, just in case I got the systems again. There's some games I didn't sell. I didn't sell Final Fantasy VII. I didn't sell Wild Arms 1 because I worked so hard to find that, so I wasn't going to sell it. And the Silent Hill tree, the Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. Yes, I know. Sony PlayStation. Because they have really good games. That doesn't mean I like the system. I just like the game. Well, there's one system I didn't sell. And that would be the Nintendo DS. I didn't sell it because... At the time, I only just bought it a couple months ago, and it's just like, wow, I'm not going to sell it. So I didn't. Also, I figured I didn't know what school was going to be like. So I figured, you know, just in case I really didn't have time to play normal video games, well, at least I had something. So I was really excited to get back home because I haven't really had time to play any video games Every once in a while, I jump on WoW, and it's not the same because I really don't have the time that I wish I had. Some people have way more time than I do to play video games, but for some reason, it just doesn't work out for me. So I was really excited, and um, I found it, found my games, but Charger is missing. I don't, I don't know where it is, but it's missing, and I'm really upset about it because... When I packed everything away, I packed everything together. And I don't know who's been through what, but my charger is nowhere to be found. I've torn up. I've torn apart the entire upstairs of this house, and I haven't found it anywhere. I don't know what happened. I found every other charger in the world for every other electronic item except for the DS. I need another charger. So my ex-boyfriend, Seth Rose, we went to we went to Walmart, which was a bad idea because it was the day after Christmas. This is last night, and every there was barely anything there. But I found one DS charger and I grabbed it, and I was so excited when I got home because I'm like, yes, finally I can play you know play DS something you know may not be a full system but something, and I opened it. And it wasn't until I opened it that I realized that I accidentally bought a charger for the DS Lite. Normally, I wouldn't do something so stupid. Normally, I would look at something. But I just, you know, I got so excited. So I was really bummed because by the time I got back home, everything was already closed. So I was really bummed. I'm still bummed. But um, I think Seth said he's going to try to grab another one for me and bring it to me. You know, I, I don't have transportation, and I'm not going to have my mother or my father or my grandmother drive me all over the place like I'm a little princess. Even though they probably would, I'm still not going to do it. I was so bummed because that bought me my Christmas present. He bought me this. Can you see it? Super Mario, the new Super Mario Brothers. And I can't play it. There is only, like, this much battery power left, and... That's enough for me to see what it's like, but I know how I am, and I know if it cuts off on me, I'll get so upset. <laughs> but um, it's cool, I guess. Or whether I wanted a new system, and I kept thinking that maybe I don't want a new system because I'm going to bring it back to the base with me, and if I do, then I'm going to be distracted. I know how I am. I know that once I start playing a video game, I'm going to be up all night or 
oh, just five more minutes or wait till I get to this level. And the next thing you know, I didn't do my homework or I was supposed to study and I didn't. So that's one of the reasons why. I'm back and forth because I did give a little bit of money um, that my family gave me to do whatever I want with, but I don't know. I might... I'm pro I'm definitely not going to get anything while I'm here. But I was thinking of getting something for my birthday. But I don't know what it's going to be. It may not even be a system at all. I don't know. But I'm pretty bummed. I really want to play video games. I didn't... I mean, I've been playing video games. I've been exposed to video games literally since I was a baby and I'm 24. But I didn't think it was going to affect me this much. And it really did. I... I don't know how much of a loser that makes me. <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm going to die. Oh, my God, I don't have video games. It's just, it kind of makes me bummed. You know? It really does. Especially being home because I remember all the days where I've had free time and I open up a game and pop it in and play it. You know, and the base, I, I don't, it does. it's different because I entertain myself in different ways. But here, it's like that's all I want to do because I'm home, you know. So I feel really weird the fact that I'm this bummed about the fact that there are no video games in this house. I guess, like I said, it's because I'm home and I've been playing video games for so many years. It's just natural that I want to play something while I'm here. But um, I just wanted to share that I'm bummed. So hopefully no one else is bummed and everyone's enjoying their video games. And I'm going to end this because I uh, I think I'm going to at least see what this game looks like with the little battery power that I have. <laughs> Bye.